furthest thing from a chassid. And one time the Gabbai saw that the Rebbe always treated him with love and respect. And one time the Gabbai asked the Rebbe, the Rebbe must know that this guy is, you know, two-faced. You know, he's anything, his language is terrible, his behavior is terrible. So the Rebbe says, I know. But what would, I, what would happen if I would chase him away? Then he would stop sending his children to yeshiva. Who knows what he does? I'm loving to him. He comes back to shul. They say that the great saintly Be'er Mayim Chaim had a son that was off the derech. In those days, uh, in those days, it was considered really terrible playing cards, because playing cards was associated probably, it's like soccer in Eretz Yisrael, it's associated with Chil Shabbos. So cards was associated with all kinds of wild behavior. I think there's some kind of a gematria, I, don't, I didn't prepare it to say it, but there's sometimes a gematria that carton, carton is big gematria Sutton. Yeah, let's check that out. Kuf Reish is Shin. And Tesnun, yeah, so Karten is Bigmatri Satan. So anyway, the Bear Chaim's son was a wild plop, card player, and they say that when he came back from wh whatever kind of drunken card playing, uh, with mixed company maybe, who knows, so the Rebbe would r wipe the sweat lovingly off his face. And he came back. Th this is the lesson of Vayav Yitzchak as Esav. That Yitzchak loved Esav. This, this, this is the lesson of, of that he showed him love and he, he brought him back. Now, you have to know that this is counterintuitive because a person that steps and spits on all what we cherish and bring shame to the family and is a bad influence to the rest of the children, uh, we, don't, we don't feel very loving. It's, ve it's very counterintuitive. Uh, a child that comes in with tattoos and a girl with hot pants and, 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 and hangs around in, in a McDonald's and is uh, on, on a cell phone on Shabbos, we feel anything but love. So first of all, we have to know that there is a very, very, very high risk of suicide on these children. A lot of times it comes from trauma of one kind or another. And we're talking about matters of life and death. So much so that the Belzer community under the direction of the Belzer Rebbe in Eretz Yisrael started a group called Avas Kaidman. There, there should be a place for these children to go in the Hasidic circle without trying to be Mekar of them back. We also have to know that just like when we have a serious medical problem, we wouldn't think to do it without guidance. Hey, you know, it, you know I'll, 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 I'll deal with the pneumonia myself. We wouldn't think of it. This is a very serious mental health problem many times, most times. And therefore, we have organizations in, in when it's the most severe and there's possibility, even a remote possibility of suicide. We have, you know, Avi Fishoff and his twisted parenting who really gets it. And in general, in, in the, the Sugya Amuka of Kip Kids in Pain, we have uh, Rav Shimon Russell. And Kesher Nafshi, who studied this 
and understands it so well. But I believe that the Vayav Yitzchak Es Esav, that Hashem had Yitzchak put into our DNA to be the ability to show love to a child even when it could be like an Esav. That's in our bloodstream. And it's what's expected from a parent. I just want to add, there's more to say about this. I just want to add that the Targum's chat that Yitzhak loved Esav because he provided him with tzedah. He gave him a good steak, a delicious blintz. The Torah wants to teach us a lesson that cooking and giving good food could generate love and cover up other deficiencies. That's why it's so important for parents to make sure that their daughters learn how to cook. They learn how to bake. Because it's a tremendous tool, a road to a man's heart is through his stomach. And it's a tremendous tool in generating Ava. I want to thank our sponsors, Ezra and Lisa Batesh, on the 20th yard site of Rivka Bas Enna, on the Shama Shadav and Aliyah, Beirut Goldwasser, Lila Nishmas' wife's grandmother, Malka Bas Yisrael, to sponsor this year, 718 916 rmmwsi at aol.com to join our Daf Yaimi nightly. It's at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. at zoomdaf.com. Join our uh, international Zoom Daf Yaimi. And uh, on Matzah Shabbos now, it's at 7.45 this Matzah Shabbos. You can also find many of my shiurim from years before, besides, of course, on Torah Anytime, on YouTube. If you check it out, remember to subscribe and press like. Uh, thank you for joining us. Have a good Shabbos and a good night.